Everything that was once old is becoming new again. Manufacturers have dusted off classic nameplates to much success. And what's the fun in doing so without really layering on the nostalgia via retro styling packages? Exactly. Thus, the 2023 Ford Bronco Sport Heritage Edition we just spent a day driving in the California desert. The Bronco Sport Heritage comes in two trim levels, a moderately equipped regular version and a top spec limited. The base heritage is fitted with a 1.5-liter turbocharged three-cylinder, while the limited gets a more powerful 2.0-liter turbo four. Both are backed by an 8-speed automatic transmission. All Heritages were Oxford white Steely-style aluminum wheels with retro Bronco center caps, an Oxford white roof, and a white grill with red Bronco lettering. Inside, the base version gets navy pier cloth seating surfaces, inspired by a 1980s Bronco interior color, with plaid inserts and race red and Robin's egg blue accent stitching. The limited upgrades to leather. There's navy and red on the center console, armrests, and mall strap storage system, too. Both models, the entry version uses the Big Bend as its base, the limited uses the Badlands, are equipped with Ford's HOSS suspension system, which includes increased ride height, uniquely tuned front struts with internal hydraulic rebound stops, 46 mm rear monotube dampers, anti-roll bars, and uniquely tuned springs. Also included is Ford's terrain management system with 7 GOAT. Goes over any type of terrain, modes, normal, eco, slippery, sport, sand, mud slash ruts, and rock crawl. An electronic locking rear differential is standard on the Limited, along with the Bronco Sport's advanced twin-clutch rear differential. Limited models also receive front recovery hooks, a rear class 2 trailer hitch, and larger 29-inch Falcon all-terrain tires. Ford invited us out to the wilds of California's Johnson Valley during the annual King of the Hammers event, where we logged some dirt miles in a Bronco Sport Heritage Limited. We also drove the Bonkers Bronco DR Desert Race Truck. Unlike a typical drive program, we were going to spend our entire time with the Sport off-road, so Ford lowered the air pressure in the Falcons to 25 PSI for improved traction in the sand, which was our driving surface for most of the day. In the brisk dawn air we mounted our Yellowstone metallic steed and headed down the trail, led by Melissa Clark in her Rebel Rally winning Bronco Sport. Clark has competed in every Rebel Rally since the event's introduction and has spent the past three years piloting Bronco Sports. The first thing we noticed was just how well the suspension soaked up the desert's bumps dips, and ruts. Its taller ride height and larger tires are also helpful off-road, and the Bronco Sport Heritage Limited is, like its non-retro stablemates, limited off-road mostly by its low ground clearance. We needed to perform some creative driving maneuvers to keep the front valance from serving as a road scraper, and there was often no way to avoid dragging the little SUV's belly while driving down deeply rutted two tracks. Thank goodness for skid plates. When we arrived at a section of sand dunes, the Bronco Sport took on a whole different persona. Switching to sand mode and disabling the vehicle's advanced track stability control allowed us to throw rooster tails and navigate the dunes with reckless abandon. The 2.0-liter engine's 250 horsepower pushed the diminutive Sport with little to no issue. Piloting the Sport in the sand proved to be pure, juvenile fun, and through it all, we showed no signs of losing traction, and the SUV never tried to dig itself in. As our time in the dunes came to an end, we trundled back toward the rutted road, at one point using the electronic locking differential and a fair bit of accelerator pedal to climb one final, impressively steep sand hill. We were thoroughly impressed. Although none of what we were able to do was because we were in a heritage rather than any other Badlands model, it did reinforce that the Bronco Sport is worthy of the Bronco nameplate. Whether it's a good idea to confuse potential customers about which Bronco is which remains another question. The Sport's sand performance was nothing short of stunning. Its off-road ride quality is tolerable, and the different drive modes really do pay tangible dividends. The 2023 Bronco Sport Heritage Limited is better off-road than you think, and it looks sensational to boot.